Hi, this is Greg from Structural Toolkit. And in this video, we're going to go through using CAD to create an analysis model. Although Structural Toolkit's analysis has a feature-rich set of commands to assist creating analysis models, sometimes it can be beneficial to use your favorite CAD program to do the work. If you're using Analysis Standard, then you have access to the import DXF function. In this video, we'll go through how to use this function using a model that we've created in CAD. So in your CAD program, you can draw your model in either 2D or 3D. You can use whatever units you want to work with, but remember that Toolkit's analysis uses meters, so we will need to scale the CAD model either before exporting to DXF or enter an appropriate scale when we import the DXF model into Toolkit. Create the model using lines only. Curves are not supported. You can use polylines. That is a group of linked lines, but you will need to explode the model to convert these polylines to individual lines. Each line represents a member and a node will be created at each end of the line. You can use different colors for each section type, which we can then rename after importing and define their specific section properties. So here's a model that we completed earlier of a sculpture plinth frame. What we'll want to do now is export the model by exporting the drawing into an AutoCAD DXF of version 10 or earlier. In our case, we'll save ours as a plinth frame. So back in Structural Toolkit, we'll then want to create a new analysis. We'll call ours a plinth frame. You'll then want to choose the combination set that you'd like to use for your model. In our case, we'll leave it as the default. After we get to the empty viewer, we'll want to go to the transfer button at the top and go transfer from TXF. We can then select the DXF we just exported, go open. You will then be prompted for a translation. If you know your model starts at a certain coordinate, it can be shifted back to 000. Alternatively, there is a translate command in Toolkit that you can use to do this after importing. In our case, we situated the model at the 000 coordinate on one of the legs, so we can simply apply the zero translation. You'll then want to select your scale, as previously mentioned, if your model is in millimeters, you will need to scale this to import into meters. To convert from millimeters to meters, scale by a factor of 0 0.001. In our case, we imported the model in meters, so we can skip this step by selecting OK. After importing, our report dialog will show the CAD DXF file format and how many nodes, members, and sections that were created along with any warnings. So we can just close this. And we can see that we've now got a plinth frame that is geometrically identical to the CAD file we had on the screen before. As we spoke about earlier, the colors we used in CAD will import in as their own sections. In our case, we used five colors and should therefore have five different sections distributed over the model. What you want to do now is go to the sections button in the top left and select each section in turn, rename it to give it a more sensible name if you need, and then pick the section that you want to use based on various materials, section libraries, or even shapes. Finally, you then want to add your restraints and loads. Skipping forward a bit, we've now added our restraints, a couple extra members to find our sections, and also added some load cases and loads to the model. What we can now do is analyze it and continue with our design. That about covers all you need to know for importing CAD files into Toolkit's analysis. Feel free to check out our website and our other videos for more tutorials and help with using this software. If you have any questions, please contact our support team via email or by calling us. Thanks for watching. Thank you.